Hello there, Spiro here, Customer Success Manager with another golden sample of the week here. This time we're going to talk about, in general, inspections, right? A lot of the stuff we've talked about before has been processes, step-by-step -step instructions in order to perform some kind of task. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, you know, what happens after the task? What are we going to have to inspect? What are we going to have to check? And how do we integrate that into VCAS? And I have a couple of different examples here, which I might blast through fairly fast. But a lot of what you're going to see, uh, and you may see some step-by-step, -step, you may see some one-pagers, as I like to say it, or one-step uh, inspections. Uh, and this is an example of one that's on the screen right now. And this is a post-paint inspection. Uh, destructive or non-destructive testing inspection. You can configure all this stuff, of course. This ties in with VCAS Pro and VCAS Data Collection. Uh, it has to because you want to collect that data, have that traceability of that item, so it ties in with the data collection aspects of VCAS. Uh, now, not saying that you can't have a visual inspection without this stuff. It's just if you want to have that record saved that uh, this serial number was done at this day and time by this person and these things were checked and these were the specific finite measurements, then you're going to have the VCAS Pro. If it's just a general step-by-step, uh, -step, make sure you check this stuff before it goes out the door, you know, you could do that in like the light version there. So in this one, we're starting off with our paint inspection. It's a one-step process, and this is a lot of what you'll see for inspections is uh, you may not have, uh, you may, may not have an extensive step-by-step -step process on how to do the inspection, but you want to collect the data. So this is me uh, creating this process and saying, Inspector, you know what you're doing. Just record the data here. Instead of recording it on that piece of paper you have on your, on your clipboard, instead of clickety-clacketing it into a... Uh, Excel sheet or something, just throw it right here. And then we have it and it's always saved and stored and we can search by serial number real easy and it's all in one place, right? So this is just pure data collection here. Now you're gonna tie into this some kind of criteria, right? So we're putting that on the operator or the inspector to say, okay, inspector is doing this, here is in this example paint, Here's the data sheet with all the inspection criteria, right? Could you make these more specific? Yes. This one's more of just a general one that I'm showing you right here. Uh, we've got our frame, scan in our barcode or type in our value, uh, confirm our visual inspections, film thickness. Actually, this one is a little bit specific. So this one is specific to a product because I have a certain mill thickness in here and I have a gloss range and things like that. So this one is actually tied to a specific product. Uh, what is that product? I didn't really explain it on the uh, beginning cover page, but I could have. All right, film thickness, we've got that in there and let's just say it's two mils. Now, the other cool thing we could do is we could do some validation of this information, right? So if it is out of range, I do something. I send an email to quality saying that I'm having issues or I just pop up a notice on the screen saying, hey, this is out of uh, tolerance, please do this. Ensure you isolate this part or something of that nature. So you could totally set validations up for this stuff. And it doesn't matter if it's a value, it doesn't matter if it's a pass or fail. Uh, you know, you could do any of that. The other neat thing is, and I don't have any in this one, but you could always have like sub links in here to sub processes. You know, anybody that's doing paint inspections, you should know what an adhesion test is or a crosshatch test or a pencil hardness test. You should know what that stuff is. But if you need to have a standardized process, if you have an SOP for it and you want to point to it, nobody's saying you can't, and it's easy enough to do that. Have a standardized SOP on how you're supposed to do these inspections. Your adhesion, how many times you unwrap the tape before you use it, you know, things like that. And it could even be a reminder for operators, too, and inspectors. Attach test plate. So maybe we're using a test plate for some destructive barcode or destructive testing. We could put our test plate in there and then we could put in our values. So we can collect our data and then we can record it, save and store it. And it's always going to be here for us. And then we could search by that serial number. We could find that data and see that everything passed. So this is an example of a paint process. Right, uh, solvent rub test, it was a pass, we save it, record it. So we've recorded our paint process, and again, we have that as a record, we can always search, we can always find that information at any point in time. Other types of inspections, because we're talking about inspections here, even though I talked about that for 
however long. You know, visual inspections. This one here just being a visual inspection of a PC as you're seeing, and we're just going through a step-by-step. -step. Now this is more of your step-by-step -step inspection process right here, right? You've got this in here, we have our checklist items. Both tags are present, let's say. And we've got our step-by-step -step process pointing out all of our different items in a visual manner like this. So option one, you got your one step with your data collection and pure data collection. Option two, you've got your step-by-step -step inspection process here. Uh, and it could be any type of inspection or anything that you want to record, right? So it could be for water testing. It could be for a standard process like checking pH. It could be for a standard process of checking the amount of coolant in water for machining. It could be any type of inspection you want. It could even be a business process audit if you want it to be, right? So internal auditing. I love to use VKS for internal auditing. And this is an example of auditing for a VKS process itself, right? Is somebody using VKS? That's an audit process for that. But replace this with whatever system you want, right? So have an audit process for compliance down on the shop floor. Are you using the ERP correctly? Are you using the MES? Are you or do you have the work instructions in front of you? Any of that, you know, these could be process audits. You could go down to the shop floor, you could do your gamble walks, and you could go through out on your tablet and fill out this information and say, yes, this person is doing their job correctly. They have all the information in front of them. Uh, no, this person is not doing their job correctly. They don't have all the information in front of them. The reason is this, you know, and there's a big point that I like to push for auditing processes and that is it's never ever like a why aren't you doing this down on the shop floor it's always an improvement it's always a self-improvement thing so you say okay I understand or I observe you're not doing this correctly uh, up to our standards or whatever but what's the reason for that and how can we improve it so you do perform this task correctly is there are you lacking some instructions are you lacking the training what is going on how can we help you you know, it's always a benefit to the whole company. It's never pointing out and isolating that person saying, you did something wrong, you know, something like that. Um, so your checklist, yes, no, pass, fail, comments type of audits, whether it be general business processes, whether it be environmental, safety, whether it be ISO audits, anything like that, you could set that stuff up in VCAS and record that data as well. Spend a little touch on different types of inspections in VKS. Thank you very much for checking this out. And we plan on coming out with a lot more cool content, so stay tuned. And thank you again.